The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. In this episode of Life's Little Miracles, John's kidney transplant continues. Four-year-old John Frias is suffering from kidney failure and needs a transplant. John's father is donating the kidney he needs to survive. Dad! today! The kidney is a good match, but John and his father could endure painful and life-threatening surgeries only to have the transplant end in rejection. After three hours of surgery, John Sr.'s kidney has been removed. I got it coming over to you. Doctors now have only minutes to clear blood from the kidney or the transplant cannot continue. It's not running worth a damn right now. And John will lose his best chance for a healthy kidney and a better life. Could you do a call on the flow when it's flowing, please? Because I'm looking at the artery, I can't see. Put, pick up the edge of the vessel. It's not running worth a damn right now. The good. 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 You got it. We got flow. Yeah, that's good. There's the fluid running out. Okay, away we go. We cover this with a sterile plastic dressing. And then so we'll go around through a sterile corridor into the other room. Uh, while the other team is getting the kidney ready, we will close the dad's abdomen. This is the first one. So what we've done with your, with your husband is that we've removed his kidneys successfully. But no surprises. The anesthetist reports that he's, he's happy with his status uh, and the kidney's been removed without any untoward events and the wound is all closed up and he'll be moving across into the recovery room shortly. Okay. We've taken, I took the kidney around into the room with John and we're just making some fine adjustments on the blood vessels to that now. And he's all set to have us put that in. And that's what we're going back to do now. Okay. We're just setting okay. up the plan of uh, okay. sewing up these vessels. In the little boy, this is the vein side. This is the major vein coming up from the right side of the body. Okay, now we'll orientate the kidney by the boy. That's the ureter there. So I think we want to go the other way. It looks good. Okay, away we go. Finish tying up the vein carefully and steadily. Release the vein first. And there's the artery supply to the kidney opened up. And you can see it pinks up right away. See blood flowing backward. Okay, I got my finger on a critter right here. Let me take some pressure over here so you can look. Where you going there? Yeah, I see, I see it, I see it, I see it. Pick up, please. There is definitely something. Get another five already. 
Pick up, please. <laughs> Keep going to the bottom end. There's two needle back. Let's have another one ready. Scissors, please. Let's take the tension off right now. Well, I've got to see if I've got control. Let the vein go. Okay. Upper artery off. Okay. Yes. Now we can look and see that the vessels are completely sealed with not a drop of blood leaking from them. So we will remove all these vessel loops, which we use as our safety harnesses, if you would. Yeah, it'll go. It's a tight fit, but it'll go. Kidney looks good. Kidney feels good. Here's the ureter here, which we will look at to see the onset of urine, which is what tells us most that a kidney is healthy. There's urine right there, and you can see it's staining the towel here. There's another large spurt of urine. So that tells us that this kidney is, is happy. We're all, uh, just finishing. We get her all close up his wound. Um, my team is doing that now, but the kidney is in and it's all working superbly. So it couldn't be better. Your little boy is as, uh, just as fine as he can be and that kidney is making lots of urine right now. So both of you relax. I'm sure you've been a bit anxious and uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay. John? John? Oh, John. Look who's here. Who's this? Hi, buddy. Oh, I know. He's on a morphine infusion. It's going to keep him nice and sleepy, and hopefully, he's not going to feel too much pain. Yes, he says his side hurts. It does. Now, so the kind of magic balance is he's told you that, but he's gone right back off to sleep again. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, it's yes, of course, it's going to hurt after everything he's just been through, but hopefully, that will be enough to keep him nice and settled. Okay. Hi, good morning. How are you feeling? Good, good. Better. Better? Yeah. Okay. Finding this useful? Yes. Yeah, definitely. It was okay. making me a little bit a little bit queasy mm -hmm. last night. Well, have you been out of bed yet, John? I haven't been out, no, but I've been lifting myself up and good. turning on this side. And nice and straight. Trying to get things moving. Once the pain subsides and you start walking and you're eating well, retaining uh -huh. everything, we'll probably switch you to an oral pain medication. How's your little guy? So far as I've been told, he's doing really well. Yeah. So you're probably wanting to get down there. Oh, yeah. Check him out. <laughs> He'll probably come up and see me before yeah. I can go down there. Yeah. Okay. If any complaints about the pain, give us a call. Very good. Take care. Have a nice long weekend. Bye. Bye. Long weekend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good. So, Missy. Drugs, drugs, drugs. 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 Give me drugs. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go see John. Give me a big hug for you. I'm here. Over. That's not going to go over your head or anything. That's going to go over your tummy. Just go over your tummy, okay? Here, hold my hand. One, two, three. There you go. Nothing's going to hurt you. Nothing at all. Yeah. No. It's coming pretty close, all right, but it's not going to touch you or hurt you, okay? It's not going to hurt, okay, John? special medicine in so we can look at your kidney, okay? It's not going to hurt, okay? You just have to lie there, okay? We'll do some special pictures, all right? Is that thing there? You see it? That's your new kidney. See that bright, bright white on there? That's your new kidney. Is that my old one? I don't think they need to see your old one. Why? Because they're more interested in the new one. <laughs> How do you think your dad's doing? Not good. Not good? Okay. Do you think he's in pain? Yeah. Both of you are here. Visiting. How are you feeling? Good. 
Been out of bed yet? No. When I get up, I'm still a little bit lightheaded, so I don't know. Okay. Making a big stand is just going to have me fall flat on my face. Got any pain in your side? A little bit. A little bit. When did that start? Um, yesterday. <laughs> okay. So don't be alarmed if it still gets a bit more intense, because when we put the freezing right in the nerves, it lasts longer than it than it usually does. Okay. How long is that? Because they told me well, by eight o'clock last night the freezing would be out, or starting yeah, to come out at eight nine. If we put it right on the nerve, sometime it'll be longer. You should be getting a, a, tr a true read now, anyway. Yeah. Um, and then you'll slowly be able to get up and move around. Expect you to have a little pain. Expect you to have some nausea. And you're, you know, the fact that you're eating and drinking to the extent you are now and moder moderately comfortable puts you right on track. Good. Good. You got any questions of me? Um, no, I just, on, on okay. how it went with my son John, everything went Superb. Really, really well. Good. Couldn't do better. That's Fantastic. what I told you yesterday. Yeah, I, I really remember did. that. <laughs> I know. So surprisingly, I know that. So we still got to keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, uh, we yeah. still have the next challenges of the immunosuppression therapy for him. Good. Okay. Good then. I'll go down and see. Uh, I'll go down and see John. Are you going down to see yeah. John now? Yeah, I'm going. Down. You got soup already? Wow, that's pretty special to me. You look at your tummy. Hmm? You can look. Come on. You won't be scared. Your tummy soup. You have no pain? You have a little bit of pain? Yeah? And you were very brave having your operation, okay? Remember that was the deal we had, that I was going to do an operation and you'd be brave, and you were very, very brave. You really were. So I'm going to leave you folks together, okay? sausage thing right here. But I don't want it in, in no, my arm anymore. Not in there. It's going to be in this sausage right here. Only okay. when this is out I have to do it in my arm. That's right, but that's not going to come out for a little while, so that's one of the things I was going to cover anyway. So the other thing I uh, wanted to mention is um, rejection. Do you know, when, do you know what, what that is? Just the body fighting off. Yeah. Like right. Yeah. Basically the body says, you know what, hey, well, I wasn't born with this kidney. It doesn't belong there and it wants to fight it off. And basically what we try and do is kind of fool it a little bit with all the medications we give it to try and fool the immune system into accepting the kidney. Um, the, the medications we have out now are great. They're, you know, they're the cutting edge. But despite the, the best medications, sometimes it still can happen. Is that like three to six months down the road? Is that any, rejection any, is from the, now till? Yeah, rejection whenever? is the most common within the first three months. Okay. Okay, but it can happen at any time he mm -hmm. has the kidney. Okay, but usually the first three months are the most critical. Uh, as far as uh, you know, immunosuppression medications increase risk of cancer. You know that. We, didn't we know that, that now. <laughs> we know <laughs> that now. Well, if you haven't got to that part, no. Okay. Anybody who 
is on an immunosuppressant medication. Basically, what you're doing is shutting down the immune system yeah. to some extent. So just by doing that, then you're increasing your risk of cancer, okay? The first three months, these are like critical points to remember. If at any time he does get sick, so this is like when you're back in Brampton and he gets a flu or something, and he can't keep down his meds and fluids, then you, we would have to probably admit him mm -hmm. for that. Okay. If we can manage him as an outpatient, trust me, we try and do that at all costs. But should the key things, if he can't keep down fluids and he can't take his meds, he needs, he'll needs he probably get, get admitted, hydrate, hydrate him, damage, give him, yeah. mm -hmm, and then give him the medication IV, because he, he, he'll need that, he can't oh, survive yeah. without that. I got the alcohol. You got the alcohol swab? Okay. I have to clean it now. I'll clean it. Which one are you doing, this first or that? The bigger one. Okay. Okay. Ready? Pull. Whoa. Thank you. That's the one that hurts my shoulder, right? I'll go slowly. Okay, ready? Okay. Tell me. How is it? Good. Am I hooked up still? Nope. No, you're free. Yeah. Whoa, that's a big one, like the... Drink up, bud. This is my first one. No, this is your second. So you need two more. Two more? Oh, why, why? Drink. Wait. Can you catch? Ah, oh, right. Good catch. Like there's already a change in him. Mm. You can cheeks. see his face already. Oh, yeah. It's got some meat. Uh-huh. How's Dad? Fine. Uh-huh. They came yesterday and had dinner. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah. Is he taking it a bit easy? <laughs> behaving himself? Yeah. So yeah. far, so good. He's been lying on the couch this morning. <laughs> so, no. this guy's doing great. Yeah. We have to kick you out soon. Yes. Yes. <laughs> on Wednesday. On Wednesday? You figure that's when you're going home? No, tomorrow. Tomorrow. So when you get home, it takes a few days to get into the routine oh. of figuring out what med to give when and how to fit it all into mm -hmm. your life, how to make sure he gets all the fluids in. The first few days at home, there are some ups and downs and usually some oops, like, you know, I forgot this one. I mean, you don't know what it's going to be like until you actually get home and yeah. try and figure out how do you get that two and a half liters in. and figure out all those meds and what do you do when he falls asleep. Well, normally and, uh, he was yeah. fine with drinking. Yeah. Now it's, have another drink. Have another drink. <laughs> First month, month and a half post-transplant is fairly intense. The reason that we monitor so closely at this stage is that we want to pick up if there is a rejection. Rejection doesn't mean the end of the kidney. Um, if there is going to be a rejection, then we want to pick it up early so that we can treat it, so we can prevent uh, damage from happening to the kidney. <laughs> No problem. Okay. So, if this is a birthday present, get anything else on your birthday? It's a helmet. It's a helmet. I think it's a bicycle helmet. But it's a hockey helmet. Too. Uh, it's a hockey helmet too. Okay. So, how are you? Okay. Any special problems I need to know? Today? No. I think you're mm -hmm. coming to clinic, so I'm supposed to know about problems. No. So you're perfectly fine. Yep. Has he been drinking? Okay. Yes. How much is he taking in? The two liters. Two liters. Or more. Hello. Yeah. He needs to do that with the warm weather, like days yes. like today. Oh, yeah, he definitely we, needs we keep to keep up clock. on that. Do you have sunscreen? Yes. You put sunscreen too to go? No. When you go yes. outside on your bicycle? Mm. Yes. You're going to need sunscreen. Okay. He looks fine. His numbers are okay. So his numbers look good. His crab is 31. His urea is fine. So his numbers are all okay. Now I get to look at you. Okay. I'm looking at my bladder. No, I'm listening to your kidney. That's not my kidney. Yes, it is. Does it hurt? Yeah. Where the does cut? It, the cut. Yeah, when I touched the cut. Ow. It hurts there too? There no. too, there too? No, no. It hurts oh, okay. over here and it goes over here. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay. Put your hat back on. 
Helmet. Your helmet back on, surely. It's one month post transplant, she's done very well. We're gonna do a few adjustments on the meds, okay. and hopefully we can just have him come to hospital once a week. Okay. But he's looking wonderful. Do you take your helmet off at all at home? No, I'm riding my bike at home now. Oh, it's a little tight. Oh, good. Perfect. By having the transplant, John is no longer suffering from the complications of kidney failure. Now, doctors must balance the risk of rejection against the side effects of his medications. John has made a remarkable recovery from surgery, but he will be treated for the rest of his life in the hope he can continue to do well with his father's kidney. On the next episode of Life's Little Miracles, Cassandra's chance to stand and Jeffrey's brain tumor.